get a 90 and a, a coupling. And instead of going with plastic, I'm gonna go with Tiger Sharks. Uh, they won't break, they won't freeze up. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take the insulation I got and I'm gonna wrap the hell out of the pipe so it won't freeze up again. Okay, so she'll be up and running today? Yes. It won't even take me 30 minutes once I get back. Okay. All right, guys. It is winter time out here in uh, Texas, and um, we outside here at our property, and uh, looks like the pipes might have burst, and we're waiting for our uh, contractor to come. And I'll sh <laughs> it's crazy, guys. So anyway, that's going to affect the water bill drastically. Um, and um, I am glad this young lady actually knows something about mobile homes. She knew something was wrong, and she gave us a call. So. Um, and, and we believed her because our contractor has been out here one other time for this particular situation. So um, let me turn this camera around. You can see the water. The water, if you look like real close, is coming from over here. It's pouring out. Look real close there. It's pouring out right there. Okay, y'all look real close. So it's coming definitely underneath the home so our contractor lives about the same distance as uh, we do from this particular mobile home park that's why we like to stay within a 90 mile radius of the um, of the homes that we uh, own so we can get out here real quick and so we're just waiting on him and we're gonna get this situated um, this lady has a good I mean I think I would be pissed but anyway she has a very good uh, demeanor uh, because uh, you know guys uh, but can't predict the weather man you can't predict the weather and um, I would have never thought it would have been like this cold here in the state of Texas but it is but I will show y'all some video footage once the contractor shows up okay so our contractor is here Guys, if you're not handy and you don't have a uh, handyman or contractor you rely on, this ain't going to be the business for you. This is not going to be the business for you. I'm just going to tell you that right now. It's cold as heck out here. we we'll call our contractor. He got out here immediately. So, we had an issue with this mobile home before. Uh, let me go to the other side. We had an issue with this mobile home before. And this can happen, guys, when the, when it gets to this types of temperature. This can happen. <clears throat> so, uh, when it gets cold like this, the tenant is supposed to leave the, the water and stuff trickling so the pipes don't freeze up. And she's lived in mobile homes before. And she told me, hey, that's what I did. She left the pipes trickling. Mm -hmm. Turn the water off, Ron. Okay, he's turning the water off. Beautiful. All right. You remember that happened before around in this house? Yep. Yeah. Well, we should be insulated.
right at the company. Smash the shit out of the company. Is it gonna be something expensive nah. to fix? No, no, no. Okay. Just it's just putting a new one on it. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see if I got one in the truck. Mm-hmm. Um, but I brought some insulation. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up so it won't freeze up again because it's gonna get cold as crap tomorrow. Okay. Um, telling you guys building relationships okay uh, we have been in business with this man for a little over three years and um, he tells us about deals we tell him about deals we give him repair jobs um, anything that we have to get repaired nine times out of ten we try to go with him and the main reason why we try to go with him is because he's always there for us okay uh, a couple of times we have tried to go with somebody else if our contractor gets busy turns out to be the biggest freaking headache you ever want to see in your whole life okay uh we got people don't show up and all that good stuff so you have to be very very careful with that um whatever you do in our situations is totally different our contractor does the work first. He sends us the bill and we pay him. It's just that easy. Whatever you do, if you're dealing with a contractor or a handyman, first of all, um, make sure that you give them a small job first, okay? That would be very important because you want to see what they can do and how fast they can do it. Uh, we don't do hourly rates uh, with this contractor. He just gives us the bill. We pay it. We don't even question it. But if we had to have a handyman or a contractor, we're not paying anybody hourly. You pay somebody hourly, they're going to be here all day trying to trying to do whatever they're trying to do. So be careful with that. So anyway, so Joe Ron said it's not going to cost a whole lot. <clears throat> yeah, my he said it's not going to cost a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Is this up something about the coupling or something like that? I don't know. And so, guys, this house has flooded out <laughs> several houses. These people I know are probably pissed. temporary fix on it mm -hmm. then I'm gonna come back tomorrow uh, I'm gonna have to disconnect this meter mm -hmm. and I'll come back tomorrow and put put it back on when I can get what I need they can handle not charging you for water for a half a day This is just a temporary fix I'm doing right here. Mm. Uh, tomorrow I'll come back and put the right stuff on. Right now it's cool, it's dark, and uh, we want to get this water back on. So I'm putting what's called a just a coupling. And I'm gonna couple it down the bottom, couple down the top, and come back tomorrow and fix it the right way.
Can you see it? This is your line going into the house. Mm -hmm. um, I can figure out what to do with the push stuff down there. This is called a compression coupling for PVC. It just goes on there. This washer right here, mm -hmm. this creates a seal. This creates a seal between the nut and the pipe, so it won't leak. Now normally with this glue or any kind of glue right now, PVC glue doesn't work under um, 30 degrees, but because, because this pipe is not 32 degrees, what did I do with the other piece of pipe? Oh, I think it, because it's not, it's, because this pipe is already warm, the glue will heal, I mean cure. That's the reason why I have to use these couplings until I can come back and fix it. How long that take to dry? Oh, maybe 45 seconds. Okay. With the right temperature. But like yeah. I said, I wouldn't want to put it on that pipe because that pipe is already cold. Mm. So it won't cure right. Mm. See now, see how it won't turn? Oh, wow. Yeah. That was fast. Yeah. But on cold pipe, mm. it won't cure right, so it'll just pop right back off. Mm. So what I'm going to do instead of that is all I'm going to do is I'm going to put two of these on for connections right now. And all I'm doing is feeding water directly into the house. Mm -hmm. It's not going through the meter. Because they would kind of frown at us if we did that, if we didn't. You're not, we're not registering how much water is going through your house. And then Speedy don't know what you're talking about anymore. Exactly, that's what I told the tenant. What is it? He came over here doing all this analysis with her. I'm like, okay, she don't really know what he's talking about. How'd you turn the water off? Over the box. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just turn it with your hand? No. The, the valve is broken, so I had to use a pair of pliers. But normally you can turn it with your hand? Yeah. And to replace that valve, that's the, that's the park's responsibility, not yours. See, on, uh, in the ground, she have a valve just like this. You can mm -hmm. just turn it off and on. But the handle's broke, so I use a pair of pliers to turn the water on.
I think that other house over here, they, we need to call them about that because I think that valve is broken too. Joe, why don't you go see what's going on at the other house before Ron leaves? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. You had to go inside, Ron? Uh-uh. You said you don't have to go inside. Again, this is just, you want to come out here and look at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is just a temporary fix. Mm -hmm. It's just feeding directly into the house. The same thing, is, the only thing is it's just not going through the valve. Okay. But I need to get all new connectors to, for the valve to put a new line here. Mm -hmm. So now what I'm going to do now is to protect the pipe I got is I'm going to wrap it mm -hmm. with pipe cover. So, because we're going to drop down almost zero for the next couple of days. And if we don't do this, a good chance it pops to do it again. I know, I just had it go happen over 162. Today? Yesterday. Oh my God. But I sent everybody a notice, everybody a notice. Mm. Turn all your valves on mm. because I'd rather have a bigger water bill right. than have to come over and do this. Mm -hmm. But now they call me. 148 talking about they don't have no water. This a second ago? Yeah. When I left to go to Home Depot. Uh-huh. So we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. It's cold. And I I, I told you what I wanted you to do. Uh-huh. Now you gotta wait. Oh, the metal stays on there? Yes, yeah. It's just uh, foil. Mm -hmm. It's like it, it helps keep, well, not, the air's not gonna get through this insulation anyway, mm -hmm. but the foil is like, uh, kind of like using duct tape. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back to do it again tomorrow. I'm not worrying about the, the foil. Right now, I just want to just make sure the pipe is covered because mm -hmm. it's going to get real cold tonight. And if we don't do this, there's a good chance it might pop again. Remind me, when remind me when it gets warm, mm -hmm. come and uh, change this over for you to from PVC to PIX. Because okay. the likelihood of PIX bursting is going to be? PIX ain't going to burst. Okay. It's plastic. Mm -hmm. Flexible plastic. So gotcha. even if the line freezes, mm -hmm. it expands enough mm -hmm. that it won't break. This is just PVC. This mm -hmm. is hard plastic. So, if it get cold, ice expands. What mm -hmm. happens when it ain't got no room to grow? 
Right. It's pop. Gotcha. Don't come over here, it's way too muddy. Huh? I said, don't come over here, it's way too muddy. Is he there? Huh? Is he still there? Yeah. What's the problem? Some guy come up like he trying to fix something. I wonder is it the city? City ain't working this time of night. The city's not gonna fix this anyway. Mm. This is part of the park. The park's private property. So the city's not gonna fix anything unless it's a main main water line. Hey Ron, I don't know if this water leaked all the way to the other side, but it's water coming out towards the hill place. Come towards what? Coming out towards your place. Yeah, it's it's just running down the yard. Right, right. That's what happened last time. What's up, Hoss? What you doing down here? Oh, you know. Yeah. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. That's that's the plumbing guy that um. Oh, the park uses. Oh. Okay. Now they use them up there, Singer. Yeah. Oh, okay then. What you doing way down here? Uh, bro, I'm everywhere. This is huh. the closest property to me, actually. Oh, okay. But I was actually in uh Pamera or Pamera, Pamera. Yeah. Who called you? Uh, Steph. Yeah, Stacy. Stacy called you. Yeah. Huh. She probably called you because the water was running everywhere. Yes. But no. I was like 10 minutes from my house, so I picked or so I got to the house, swapped out, came over here. No, these are the homeowners right here. Okay. Mm. No problem, bro. Well, I'm gonna get out of your hair. You need anything for me? No, I'm just gonna turn the water back on now. Alrighty. I'm gonna come back out tomorrow and fix it because bro. <laughs> I just put a temporary fix on it for right now. Bye.